the Joe Rogan experience. There's a bo- yeah. there's a border wall there, but there really isn't a border there's wall. There's no border wall. You get in a boat. You yeah. row over there. <laughs> It takes three minutes. Oh, he can parkour. Okay. I, yeah. posted, I recently posted up a bunch of videos of people parkouring over that wall. I saw it. Yeah. I mean, look, I admire ingenuity. I, I admire people that find solutions to problems. Yeah. I mean, watching that guy scale that goddamn wall like Batman. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it's amazing. Yeah, they're they're coming up with weird ways. Like I saw some people do, uh, using powdered titanium to to melt the bars on 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 one of the slats powdered titanium I, again i had to research it basically it's a it, powdered titanium burns at a very high rate and when you start it it's kind of hard to put it out so they make wow. this hole on and this wall with powder ti- some sort of powdered titanium mix that's like that shit what was that shit that they were talking about with 911 where all the conspiracy theorists thought that it melted steel god damn it pirate 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 pirate, or something. pirate. Uh, is that it? A, a tanner, something like that. I don't know. Like, a word just popped in my head. I don't yeah. know if that's the one. Yeah. Uh, no, I feel like that's the stuff that you blow shit up with. Right yeah, now they so. sell these things they call breech pens. Like, and they, there's, there's the, the, for tactical applications, there's these pens, that be sticks that you start and you can burn chains open and stuff like that with them. Really? Yeah. So wow. it's basically a ghetto version of that is what they're using, you know, in some of these places. I know, they, they, uh, I mean, the, the, the wall as they're making it, and speaking to some of the border patrol agents that, that I that I know, it does its job at, as far as slowing people down. So they don't, so there's not an overflow of people coming. Yeah, through. it's not like yeah. Yeah. But what would happen if it was that? That's a bonsai. My, bonsai. Yeah. What would happen if everybody if there was no border? Everybody's like Mexico's the United States. United States is Mexico. Have a good time. Yeah. I, 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 that would be chaotic. Of course. For how long though? Ten years. I don't know. I how long? Know. I mean, once everybody got in. Yeah, that would be and bad. And then other people would go there. Yeah. I mean, if what if the United States and Mexico came to a deal and they said, yeah, listen, you know yeah. we'll, we'll call. wasn't there a thing that they were going to do? There was a North American agreement. There was like they were trying to do that with the yeah. United States. and Set up a single currency. Yes, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of conspiracy theories around the Amero. Yes, yeah. there was something like that. Like they were going to do it with Canada. We were all going to become I one mean, nation. I could, see, I could see it with Canada, yeah. yeah, but maybe not, you know, Mexico. Well, look... We could all <coughs> spread all the good around. Yeah. And then also, like, look, Mexico's got some awesome spots. Wouldn't it be great if U.S. industry moved in there? And, and lithium. Yes, and lithium. Yeah, Maybe li- that's going to help. Lithium. Well, Colombia did a great job in eradicating all the, did. the problems with narcotics. I, I think it, it, it is really, well, not all of them, because they still have well, a yeah, guerrilla, sure. guerrilla group down there that recently, kind of, uh, the FARC, that w- went... Uh, Amnesty, and then they they got active again. But there's still there's still a lot of cocaine being produced there. And oh yeah, yeah. But, but it's not nothing like when Escobar. No. no. How, what did they do? Well, they were facing uh, just just a few criminal groups, large ones, and Mexico is facing a, a lot of them. That's and interesting. They so have the U.S. right next door that is pumping uh, money into the uh, issue directly. They don't have to fly in. No. Yeah, it's not a so long it's a, plane flight. It's a short walk. Also, Mexico is a pretty big country. I think people kind of miss that. Also, it's a pretty big country. It's a pretty big country. Do you do you remember when there was a CIA drug plane that had like several tons of cocaine on it and it crashed because the Mexican government wouldn't let them land and refuel? Yeah, yeah. I mean, all sorts of conspiracy theories are. Around. Well, that was a real CIA drug plane that had been to Guantanamo Bay at least twice. Yeah, like it was documented. Yeah, that, and they. For whatever reason, I mean, I, I, we're I, flying back with I, a lot of coke. Look I, at that! <laughs> Look at all that coke. I imagine, <laughs> I imagine government groups everywhere have agents. Cowboys, yeah, yeah. You have cowboys. When people are trying to say the CIA brings in drugs, no, no, no. It's people who work for the CIA realize they can make a shitload of money if they bring in drugs, and they they pass that money around and they work it out. But the CIA itself does not bring in drugs. Yeah. Uh, uh, customs, customs and Border Protection agent agents, and uh, just Homeland Security as an agency has the most corruption charges uh, as far as all law, law enforcement agencies. Is, Do they and, really? Yeah, federal uh, uh, federal charges for corruption uh, because they are on the border and there's a lot of money <laughs> on the border. Of course, that's of that's course. why, right? It totally uh, makes sense. And uh, you know, I mean, it, maybe it was a CIA guy that said, you know, I can make some money through here. That's well, I mean, that was the whole Barry Seals thing, that Tom Cruise movie. Yeah. Made, was it called Made in America, I think? Yeah, Made in America. That was about bringing in drugs with the with cowboys that work for the CIA. Yeah. I, I mean, when I was working down there in Mexico, and I got to see different agencies that we would work with, 
all of a sudden we're like, hey, uh, can you guys just uh, go like look over there or just like, move over there? Like, wh- what's going on? And he would see like some sort of <laughs> okay, let's go. Like, and you, you don't know what's going on, you know. But plane uh, lands, plane takes off. Plane lands. Nobody plane saw takes nothing. Off. Nobody saw nothing. You know, um, uh, money exchanges and just you know that's and you're just an agent. You know, just in the background. Well, that's the thing that's so scary about what's going on with the cartels is that the quantity of money is so extraordinary now yeah it's almost like they can do anything yeah i mean uh they have their own cell phone networks in some places what yeah there's, there's what's been, it called I, that'd be good if i knew but what kind of coverage they have they, they got pretty a good, good plan? Coverage, pretty good coverage in their areas <laughs> i mean they they, they they dismantled some cell phone networks uh in the past also like uh whole cities with uh, hidden cameras that are cartel controlled to see who goes in and out of the of the towns wow like so, they, so it's they, sophisticated. Oh yeah. So uh, Mexicans, Mexican government is working with uniformed uh, agents patrolling in pickup trucks in the back, and these guys are living in 2025 and using drones to 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 surveil the the patrols in the area, and they're using their own cell phone network so they don't have to be worried about government tapping into their communications. Uh, they're utilizing encrypted phone technology that is available now commercially throughout the world um, to get around some of these things, um, and and they're and they're working. They're constantly evolving in how they work. You know, I remember the first time I was working in in, in Baja, and all the cartel guys would would move around in suburbans dressed like federal agents, and they would look exactly like the legit federal agents, or <sighs> they were federal agents with the cartel guys. So you would. You know, oh my God! So they'd be together. Yeah, and then we started working with the military, and the military didn't give a shit who you were. So they would stop everybody, shoot everybody, and the guys immediately saying, "Oh, now we're using taxi cabs to move around, and different types of cars, and we're gonna paint the the, the vans like uh, taxi vans, or we're gonna move around in, in ambulances." So they changed their tactics. So we were always after these convoys of suburbans, and now they're doing something else. <sighs> so that's how they evolve. They they, they just you know. You're trying to go after him with a hammer, and these guys are mosquitoes. Right? Does it make you want to move to Canada? No, no, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> That's the furthest you can get away from all the chaos. Uh, you know, uh, uh, but it must be going on up there as well, right? They, they yeah. must have a. So uh, I, I interviewed a, uh, a a smuggler, a coyote, uh, for one of the articles I wrote, and um, he. Um, you know, asked them directly, like, what do you think about the, the, the border wall and, and the immigration uh, uh, policies of this current administration? They said, oh, it's good for business, you know? It makes it seem like it's harder to put people in, in the United States. So, I mean, that wall is pretty hard. Like, how do you do it? I fly them to Canada, and they walk down. <laughs> Well, we talked about it before that the border of the United States is a wall to Mexico. The border from the United States to Canada is a giant clearing that's 100 yards wide. It's real clear. You can see it. Like, it's almost like they make it easy. Hey, just go right here. Yeah. I mean, <coughs> a lot of people that want to get to, into the U.S., you hear, you hear numbers from <clears throat> $8,000 to $15,000 depending on who you are, what you're trying to do, how you're trying to get up here as far as being smuggled up. And he's like, uh, pass Mexican passport. Get a Mexican passport if you're Mexican. We'll get you a Mexican passport. Uh, we'll put two thousand dollars in an account somewhere. So if they want to verify if you're s- s- financially solvent, they will check that and just fly to Canada and just walk down. And that's what we do. 